what's going on YouTube it's a good day to shovel as you can see we finally got snow last night kind of a significant amount not tons but it's the most we've gotten so I'm going to be using the snowcaster uh, 70 I think it's the 70 SCN or something like that, but the Snowcaster shovel. Going to be giving it, giving it a go today since it finally snowed and see how it does. Uh, my sidewalks do have, they got some humps and bumps and some cracks and uneven spots in them. So I'm sure there's some spots that'll catch, but we should, uh, should be fine. So yeah, let's get the snow in before we get all the old old guys wanting to snow blow my stuff in the front so yeah we'll give this a shot check it out right here just got it hanging up waiting to use it so yeah let's get the shoveling and see how this thing does so first of all we'll go over you know the the build of this thing you know it to, to me it feels pretty cheap you know it's the you know, materials are kind of you know, it's just all plastic pretty much there's no metal on this so yeah the blades all plastic but you know it's got the cheapy wheels on it um, assembly's not too bad other than these bolts are kind of a pain to get into these little uh, those little spots, little slots there. But other than getting those in and tight, it's very easy to put together. So, and this thing's just based on you know you flip it one way and flip it the other, push the snow one way or the other. So it's pretty basic, pretty easy. So what I'm going to do is, on the first pass, it should only take one pass. So on the first pass, I want to push the uh, snow towards the... I want to push all the snow towards the um, yard. That was a fail <laughs> on the wet stuff. So I ain't gonna lie. That that was a fail. But your average man don't want to do that. I'm not your average man. So I can push that. But your average guy or woman is not going to want to do that so yeah this is very wet very sloshy snow and i'm guessing that that wasn't built for that it cleared a nice path but you better have a little horsepower behind your push or uh you're not going to get uh big chunks like that out so that pretty much just pushed it right there 
I have used this one other time on, on smaller stuff and it worked pretty good. Yeah, like I said, this is just wet. It's kind of wet and sloppy and that snow doesn't want to push out to the side of that. So I definitely was expecting it to uh, just throw it to the side. I wasn't expecting it just to push it like that. So, I mean, I try to give you a true test here and that was just, like I said, that was just kind of pushing it. I don't, I don't like that, but you know, to its credit, that is, it's, it's quite a bit of snow and it's wet and heavy. When it gets like that, it doesn't want to, nothing really wants to work. Maybe if we had half of that, it would have been better, but like I said, for something quick, you know, I'll push some of that. It's it's no big deal to me, but yeah, your average Joe doesn't want to mess with that. It's pretty heavy stuff. So we'll give the front a try, see how that does. This might be more uh, counterproductive to me than just using a regular shovel. So, but for the video purposes, we'll we'll give it a shot. We'll try the front, see if maybe less fell in the front or not. I don't know. So I'm going to show you. With this, you just grab it, lift it up, and you flip it over to change directions. So since I'm going out this way, I'm not, I don't want to push the snow towards the house, so we'll, we're going to flip it back the other way. So maybe if I sprayed it with some Pam or something, maybe it'd come off a little bit easier, but... It doesn't look like this is much on these sidewalks, so maybe it'll do a little bit better job. Like I said, I've used this before, and it actually did a really good job one morning before work. But, uh, you know, I've never pushed, shoveled anything like this, what we got here. So, we'll, uh, we'll do some of this, set this up, and see how this does. Seems like kind of the same deal. It's too thick and heavy. As you can see, some of my sidewalks there, you gotta push it. So, I mean, as we stand now, I'm saying, you know, if you get snow that's wet like this, this isn't gonna be a good option for you. You know? Once I start pushing, it's kind of just staying there. It's uh, just accumulating, and then I'm just shoving a big pile of 100-pound wet ice. And then if your sidewalks aren't perfectly straight like mine are, aren't, this thing's going to give you some trouble because it just drags along the ground. See, like here, I got some cracks. It slides that way, but I go the other way, and it's going to hit down at the bottom I got some high spots so we'll keep we'll trudge ahead and use this to do the rest of these but like I said this might not be the the way to go for this thick stuff it might be just a shovel and just throwing it See where I'm hitting the sidewalk. Wants to bounce back. Kind of a pain, but I knew 
you buying this thing that it would probably drag along the ground and hit some of my sidewalks so I don't know, I call that a fail, really. I don't know. I just, you get fed up after a bit. Um, I would say for the price, that's a no-go. I meant for a s small area that I have. And this is the first real snow. Like I said, I know it's wet, but come on. I think they should have angled it a little bit more. And if you have bumps, uneven sidewalks, which a lot of people have, like right there, that's just a, I mean, that's a tick above, but I kept hitting that constantly, so. And I know down there I got way, way more. So, yeah, I don't even know if I want to mess with this. I might take this back and just get the shovel, so. Um, yep, so this is the Snowcaster 70 something SCN or something, but yeah, I definitely uh, wouldn't recommend this. Not if you get really good snows. Because if it's wet, you're just going to be pushing snow, and that's not what you want to do with this thing. So, I'm going to hang this thing up and not even mess with it anymore today. So you can see with this, with this shovel, it's got an angle to it. Same thing as a snowcaster, but this one was actually pushing the snow to the side. So, but it's probably it might be the design of it. I think it's a little bit slicker. Where's that snow castle? It looks like they put a matte finish on there. I guess for snow not to stick, but you know, this one did a lot better job for this wet stuff. So, like I said, if you want to spend the money, like I said, that thing will work great if it's not super wet and thick. And you're wanting to get things done quick because that is 36 inch. I don't, I'm not sure the, the width of this, but I can get this in a few, few passes. So, and this you can get on Amazon too. Like I said, I like the angled ones. I like the angled, uh, 
shovels for sidewalks you know it gets it done pretty quick and you don't have to be lifting every time just towards the towards the side whenever you get some a little bit of pile up on the edge but other than that you don't have to lift this very much so yeah the snow caster uh like i said when we get more snow end of the season we'll uh i'll give a final review at the end of this winter as long as we get more snow it's been pretty warm so maybe this is uh maybe this is the start of it i was hoping to give you guys better news but that is what it is with that thing it's uh definitely not a snow caster today it's just a snow pusher an ice pusher so well uh i gotta give this thing a thumbs down don't buy this i mean not if you get snow if you if if it's you know if it's dry i think this thing will work great if the snow wasn't wet it probably worked great but this is what i got wet snow here in indiana northwest indiana so this thing it's hoping to push everything with it, but you know, I'll keep using it. I bought it, so we'll use it. But today, it's definitely a fail, people. So, so you guys like these videos, uh, like, subscribe, tell a friend.